Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Basic Module 2. Everyone, nice to meet you. Welcome to Basic 2. How are you doing? Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Teacher Kalev Nunez. In English, it's Nunez, it's that special letter does not exist, right? In the English alphabet, if you didn't know me, it's a great pleasure to join you in this nice adventure, which is the English learning process. Congratulations for approving basic one. Good job, good job. Thank you. And welcome to a different challenge on basic module two. Please introduce yourself and tell us what is your expectation in this module? Yes? Introduction, where do you work? And expectation, yes? For example, my name is Caleb Nunez. My expectation, well, um, I wanna help you to get your English better. I want to help you to grow and to become bilingual as soon as possible. That's my expectation. And I work at Inglés Corporativo, as you know. So what about you? Any volunteers? Hi, my name is uh, Esmeralda Romero. My expectative is um, speaking English. Um, no sé cómo se dice más fluido. More, more fluently. More fluently. Can you hear me? More fluently. Hello, Alicia. Okay. Okay, I think we have a bad connection. I think we have a bad connection, Alicia. But I understand that your name is Alicia and I understand that you want to um, improve your fluency. You want to speak faster. That's your, that's your goal, correct? Correct. Eh, yo voy a estar, estoy acá ahora mismo en Estados Unidos y voy a tener un poco mala de señal entonces, pero voy a estar tratando de siempre estar conectada. Really? Nice. Where are you? Thank you. What state? What state? What state are you in? Sí, voy a estar acá en, en Estados Unidos hasta diciembre, tuve que viajar, entonces, pero no quiero perder la clase. Nice. Oh, all Estoy. right. Thank you. Thank you. Y ahí va a estar paradita, Miss. Ahí no, ya voy a entrar a la habitación. Ahí oh, voy, okay. Ya voy a entrar. Lo que pasa es que había un poco mal de señal, entonces tenía que salir afuera para tomarla. Nice. Nice. Welcome to the class. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And somebody else. Do we have any other volunteer? No, you're shy. You're shy. I have shy students. <laughs> I know it's day number one, basic number two. Maybe you are nervous and don't want to tell me anything. Come on, tell me what's your name and what is your goal? What is your objective in this module? Go ahead, Miss Bonilla. 
Okay, good evening. My name is Patricia Bonilla and my expectations for this model are to learn more, much more. To learn much more and to practice a lot uh -huh. with your classmates, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes. It's very <laughs> important. That. That. <laughs> is that. Is that. Uh -huh. Great. Nice to meet you. What's your hobby, Patricia? Uh, como? What is your hobby? Um, my hobby is runner. Correr. Running. Running. Uh -huh. Correr. Uh, leer. <laughs> Leer, right. reading. Mm, reading. Um, okay. Uh, ir al gimnasio. And going to the gym. I'm going to the gym. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Well, 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 nice, nice, nice. Welcome to the class. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Nice Somebody to meet you, else. Too. Great. Somebody else. Raise your hand. Or... Activate your microphone. Go ahead. Hello. Do we have any more students around us? Yes. <laughs> Somebody told me that you need English classes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, information, information. What's your name? Where do you work? And what is your expectation? Uh, okay, my name is uh, Ramon Escoto. Uh, I work in the city hall, San Esteban, Catarina, San Vicente. My expectation is to uh, learn anymore. Learn much more. Repeat. Much more. Learn much more. Learn much more. Definitely. You will, Ramon, for okay. sure. I can assure you that we okay. will learn together. Okay. Welcome to basic two. Who's somebody else? Somebody else. Raise your hand. Go ahead. Huh? Okay, so I have met only Alicia, Ramon. And Patricia, that's it. And the rest, I have 10 students. And I have seven students that are shy. Hi. Uh huh. Hello. Welcome to basic two. How are you doing today? Alicia? Okay, well, we're going to name. We're going to name um, each member of the class. Okay. So anyways, people, um, I'm going to be your teacher during this module on basic two. It's definitely a big, big pleasure to be with you. And first of all, congratulations for approving basic two. And second of all, congratulations on continuing, you know, on this program because it's difficult to continue, right? It's difficult to finish. So 
in this career, as any other career, you have to be very constant, very constant, very perseverant. And sooner or later, you will make it. You will make it for sure. Okay, let me switch to Spanish. Chicos, bienvenidos, les decía, right? Hoy es bueno nuestra primera clase, es definitivamente un placer enorme estar con ustedes. Uh, nos vamos a divertir en estas próximas 40 horas con el idioma inglés. Vamos a aprender mucho, vamos a practicar, nos vamos a equivocar, nos van a corregir, nos vamos a reír. So, <laughs> it's got to be like that. Um, el idioma inglés tiene que ser así, pues, dinámico, divertido, ¿verdad? Entretenido y pues que cada día eh, aprendamos algo, ¿verdad? Una competencia diferente. Hay algunas cosas que tenemos que aclarar, hay algunos topics que tenemos que discutir entre todos como grupo. Um, entonces voy a necesitar que pues sean muy proactivos, que me den su opinión, que aporten, ¿verdad? Porque esto es para el bienestar de nuestro equipo uh, para estas próximas 40 horas en este básico módulo 2. ¿Ok? Bueno. Indicaciones generales, eh, tales como um, cada día uno de ustedes se quedará con su servidor 10 minutos. Eso será un coaching session, es como una 10 minutos de asesoría. Pero um, sabiendo que ustedes han superado ya el básico módulo 1, su servidor aprovechará esos 10 minutos para hacerles un oral test. Um, les estaré haciendo un examen, una evaluación oral en esos 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Los primeros 7 minutos serán de entrevista y los otros 3 minutos pues serán de feedback, de correcciones, de tips, etc. Entonces vamos a sacarle provecho a esos 10 minutos que cada uno de ustedes uh, pues comparta acá en este um, curso. Bueno, aparte de eso, hay cosas que como grupo tenemos que acortar. Eh, eso es, por ejemplo, um, el control y el manejo uh, de su botón del de micrófono. Um, pues a veces eh, muchos tenemos familias grandes, muchos tenemos pues eh, bebés, etcétera, ¿verdad? Entonces a veces tenemos que estar pues atentos a pues ponerle el botón de mute al... al um, ¿Se me escucha, chicos? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Entonces es problema de, de internet, Miss Caroline, porque um, en muchos lugares está lloviendo ahorita. Ok, entonces, guys, les mencionaba que tenemos que tener mucho, mucho control con su botón del micrófono. Si usted tiene interferencia in the background, right? Entonces, póngale mute. Um, va a haber momentos en que tengamos que hacer muchas repeticiones. Ustedes va a tener que escuchar. Um, claramente a su servidor y usted tendrá que repetir constantemente y repetir hasta lograr esa pronunciación indicada, entonces es importante que el audio sea pues eh, lo mejor posible entonces les pido por favor que me puedan colaborar con eso um, bueno, aparte de esas que son súper importantes, pues aparte de esas les tengo que mencionar los, las que ya conocen ustedes, ¿verdad? Los lineamientos de su patrocinador, que es Insafor, eh, quien les está pues apoyando con esta gran oportunidad para que ustedes se preparen. Entonces, esto eh, no requiere ningún costo eh, para ustedes, pero sí eh, tienen ustedes algunas responsabilidades, eh, tales como pues asistir a sus clases, ¿verdad? Siempre conectarse a la hora, eh, cumplir las dos horas de sesión. Eh, tienen ustedes que tener su cámara activada siempre. Um, aparte de eso, la participación tiene que ser activa. ¿Verdad? De repente su teacher le va a hacer una pregunta y pues eh, usted deberá pues hacer honor, ¿Verdad? A, a su beca pues y defender ese puesto que usted pues tiene en este momento. Ok. Um, ¿Qué más? 
let me see. Por el momento de mi parte, eso sería lo más importante. Pero no sé si ustedes quieren agregar algo que ustedes consideren que sea, pues, de vital eh, importancia para nuestro beneficio. No? Okay. Really? Sí, es el momento todavía, teacher. Están de acuerdo con todo, entonces, excelente. Me van a ayudar entonces con el audio. Si tienen un perrito ahí a la par, pues me le van a poner ahí mute al, 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 al microphone y así, ¿verdad? Perfect, 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 perfect. Bueno, está de más decirle, guys, que todos estamos acá con el mismo propósito, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues tenemos que mantener esa actitud de, de ayudarnos, ¿right? Porque um, hay quienes, pues, tenemos un nivel un poquito superior a los demás. Hay otros que nos sentimos que tenemos un nivel inferior. Y así, pues, entonces tenemos que apoyarnos. Acuérdense que en este proceso a veces es difícil, ¿verdad? Uh, hay quienes nos cuesta un poquito más que a otros. Entonces, eh, necesitamos ese little push, ¿verdad? También de... de, de The motivation, right? De parte de nuestros compañeros. Aquí sí que respeto ahí eh, ante todo y pues a participar con sus, con sus compañeros, right? Um, bueno, vamos a ir con el attendance, con la asistencia. I want you to tell me. I'm going to mention your name, your complete name, okay? And you will... And you will um, say whether you're present or not. Okay, so let's start. We have here, Mr. Do we have here, Mr. Alex and Nok Ramirez Salazar? Present. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, Ms. Alicia Esmeralda Romero, is she here? No? Okay. okay. Um, Caroline, Carolina, Stephanie, Hernández Romero. Present teacher. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díez. Hello teacher, I'm here. All right, welcome. And um, Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Sí, aquí estoy. I'm here, say, I'm here. Repeat, I'm, I'm here. here. Yeah, I'm there here. you go. I'm right here, no problem. And Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Irvin Joel Morán González. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Julio César Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes Mendoza. Present. Pero, teacher, yo había indicado que mi apellido es Meléndez y siempre me ponen Mendoza, no sé por qué. Acá la tengo como, permítame, me aparece como Laura, no, perdón, sí, Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Mendoza me aparece a mí. Sí, pero es de Meléndez y según me confirmaron en el chat, ya me habían corregido eso. Pero, pero así como usted me dice, es como le sale en el DUI ya actualmente. Sí, todos mis documentos, la inscripción y todo, yo la he llenado como Melende. Pero, pero, ok, permítame, entonces yo voy a tomar nota y lo vamos a reportar. ¿Usted ya lo reportó? Sí. <coughs> ah, ok, 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 entonces... 
tendría Pero que ser que ya me lo habían cambiado tal vez si usted hace el comentario sí 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 vamos a hacer ahí como que little push y es de Meléndez entonces sí Ok, ok, ok. Perfecto. Meléndez con Z, ¿verdad, Mes? Sí. All right, and then let me see. We have, do we have in here Miss Maria Elena Linares Diaz? Present. Welcome to the class, Miss. Uh, let me see, Maria Elena, and then Mario Alberto Hernandez Vasquez. I'm here. All right, Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Present. Okiroki, and then Miss Patricia pa Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Present teacher. Beatriz, okay. Ramon Antonio Escoto Abarca. Uh, present teacher. Okay, thank you. And then Roberto Antonio Ramirez González. And the last one, okay, the Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. All right. Okay, so thank you. Welcome, Miss Tatiana. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the class. Um, bueno, como estamos dando la información general y también, pues, quería conocer, saber un poquito cómo están ustedes. Um, Vale recalcar que eh, yo creo que ustedes ya vienen del básico 1, ya tienen un poquito de experiencia en los procesos. Entonces, vale recalcar que eh, vamos a estar bien pendientes de nuestra plataforma. Acuérdense que aparte de que es necesario que ustedes para probar un módulo tengan por lo menos el 80% de asistencia, uh, pues tengan también el mismo porcentaje uh, cumplido en la plataforma. Entonces, eh, siempre hay uh, tareas, ¿verdad? Es una clase y es una tarea. Entonces, por cada clase hay una. Entonces, hay que irlas haciendo, ¿right? Pueden ustedes eh, avanzar, pero no pueden atrasarse. Ok, so es importante que tomen eso en cuenta. Eh, su servidor va a estar haciendo que, como, como que un chequeo general los fines de semana y pues el lunes yo les compartiría si hay alguien que está pendiente para que pues ustedes me ayuden ahí completando eso. Ok. Todos tienen acceso a su plataforma. Yes, teacher. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started then. And remember, you have a question, please let me know. Teacher, I have a question for you. Repeat, teacher, I have a question for you. Teacher, I have a question for you. Yes, you can say, I don't understand. Simply, I don't Entiendo. understand. Yes. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Try to use your English. Yes. Try to use your English to the fullest. Like, forget about Spanish. Don't depend on Spanish. Spanish is the last option. Just the very last option option, ok no sé si antes de continuar tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda Sí, podría de vez en cuando comentar estas pronunciaciones este, para acostumbrarnos un poco ya que no ocupábamos tanto este, las frases claro que sí, con mucho gusto en ese caso nos vamos a auxiliar con el grupo de whatsapp Okay, so that's a good advice as well. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to actually um, share with you some information. 
please confirm if you are able to visualize my screen. Can you see my screen now? Can you see it? No. Yes, I, no. I can see. I cannot see. Hmm. Can everybody see it? Can you see it, Edwin? I don't know. You don't know? Can you see the presentation? I cannot. You don't I see know. the No, estoy entrando ahorita. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm logging in. I'm logging in. I'm going in. Yes. Right. Can you see my screen, Monica? Can you see my presentation? Yes. Say, yes, I can. Repeat, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Repeat, I can see it. I can see it. I can see, I can see it. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Carolina, ya nos puedes escuchar. Yes. All right, all right. I can see it. Ya puedo verla. I can see it. Can you see my screen, Patricia? I can see it. You can see it? Awesome, awesome. How about you, Ramon? Can you see my screen? I can see it. All right, awesome, awesome. You guys, we're going to talk about transportation. This is very important because in the United States, there are different ways of transportation. In El Salvador, we have less ways of transportation. You know, there's a difference, right? There's a difference. But this transportation on the screen uh, belong to the United States of America, okay? It says the top eight ways to get to work. So, the question would be, how do you get to work? Repeat, how, 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 how do you, do you, do you get, do you get, 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 get to work, to, to work. work. How do you, how, how do, do you, how do you get to work? Get to work. To work. Uh, get, get to, to work. work. How do you get to work? Repeat. How do you, How get, do to you get to work? How do you get to work? Naturally. How do you get to work? How do you, How get, do you to get, work? get to work? Excellent. With intonation. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? You get to work? Excellent. Get to work? We're talking, this question is about transportation, okay? So remember that. Oh, I get to work. I get to work. The answer, repeat, I get to work. I get to work. To work. By bus. Get to work. By, by bus. bus. By car. By motorcycle, etc. Okay? So we're going to watch a video about that. Let's pay attention to this. Who has uh, interference? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to transportation. Additionally, 
we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 1. Drive. Repeat, guys. Drive. 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 Two. Walk. 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 Repeat. Walk. Walk. Number three. Three. Take the bus. Four. Take the bus. Repeat. Take the bus. Take the bus. Quiero ver, creo que Edwin. Ya, yeah, Edwin creo que es quien tiene interferencia. Edwin, ¿me ayudas por ahí? Be careful, be careful. Ok. So, take the bus. Repeat, take the bus. Take the bus. Take, take the bus. 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 Four. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. The subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. That's how you say in Spanish abordar, right? The verb in English will use will be take. Okay. Five. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. Repeat. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. Six. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. bike. Ride a bike. Do you remember this one? Do you remember this one? What's this? Drive. This is drive. Drive. With letter D. Drive. 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 Drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. But this drive a car. This one is ride. Ride. Ride, ride. 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 ride a bike. A bike. Repeat. Ride a bike. Ride, ride a bike. A bike. Seven. Ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Ride, 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 motorcycle. Ride, a motorcycle. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Repeat. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Next. Eight. Take a taxi. Take a cab. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Or, oh. or take a cab. Take a cab. You can say, you can say taxi. You can say taxi or cab. cab. Taxi is more, is more common, right? But you can say cab. Take a cab. Okay. Repeat. Take a cab. Take a cab. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Ride a motorcycle. Ride, ride a motorcycle. Ride a, ride a motorcycle. Ride, ride a motorcycle. motorcycle. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Question. Question. Can you ride an animal? Do, no, I don't. Do you do you ride an animal or do you drive an animal? Ride. 
Right. Correct. Uh, for example, for example. Ride a horse. Correct. Good job, Ramon. Ride a horse. Repeat, guys. Ride a, ride a horse. horse. Ride a horse. Okay, so you can ride different animals, like a donkey, yes, like an ostrich, etc. Se escucha como que una interferencia por ahí. I don't know who that is. Help me it's with raining. That. It's raining también, I know. It's raining everywhere today, I know, I know. Let's try your best. Okay, so repeat. Take a train. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. Repeat. Take, take the, the subway. Take, take the, the subway. subway. Take the bus. Take, take the, the bus. bus. Take the take the bus. Take the bus. Walk. 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 Drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Drive a car. I repeat. I drive I a car. Drive a car. Repeat. I, I drive a car. A car. Thank you. Uh huh. Somebody else. How do you get to work? Uh -huh. Hello. I take a bus. Maria. Okay. Maria says that she takes the bus. I take the bus. Repeat. I take the bus. I take the bus. I take the bus. I take the bus. Excellent. 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 Somebody else? Uh -huh. I take the bus. You take the bus, Maria? Okay, thank you. Somebody else? I take... I'm sorry? I take the Uber. I take the Uber, yes. Now, yeah, you can say I take the Uber, right? It's a new option. <laughs> okay. What else? I take a taxi. Maybe. You take a taxi. Very good. Bueno, hay otra forma también de decir esa idea. Es usando la preposición by. Okay. By plus um transportation for example by car i go to work by car repeat guys i go to work by car i go to work by car I go to work by car. Okay. ¿Qué tiempo es este? Este es el simple present. Es el presente simple. Right? Básicamente usamos el simple present para hablar de rutinas. I go to work by car. Muy bien, Ramón. I go to work by car. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Que voy al trabajo en carro. ¿Y qué? Es, es rutina todos los días. Ahí solo falta que le pongamos every day. Always. Ok, o always, muy bien, always. I always, I always drive my car. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Que siempre lo hago, es mi rutina de siempre. Para eso es el simple present tense. Do you understand? Let's continue with the video. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? 
And a possible answer may be, I drive to work, or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions. And also, I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a okay, conversation. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're going to go back here. We're going to go back here, and we're going to have some interactions. We're going to have some interactions. I need you to practice. Practice time. I make this question, how do you get to work? Yes, to one participant. My participant is going to be Mr. Mario. Mario Hernandez, how are you tonight? I am fine. And you? I am so happy, man. I'm so happy to have you in this class. Question for you. Yes. How do you go to work, Mario? I love ride a motorcycle. I have a, a one motorcycle, but I, want, I have two motorcycles. Nice. You have two motorcycles? Yes. So one day you ride one motorcycle and the next day you take the different motorcycle? In the week I use uh, my motorcycle 122. 25. And Sunday I have a motorcycle big. The big one. The big, uh -huh. <laughs> 600. 600. 600. Mm -hmm, 600. 600 CC. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Good for you. I have a motorcycle too and I love riding my motorcycle. Okay? Yes. Thank yes. you for the information, Mario. Make the question to one classmate. Excuse me. And you say the name and you go for it. Go for it. Okay. Uh, um, Douglas, excuse me. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Let okay, me, let me. sorry, sorry. Tell me. <laughs> How do you get to work? Okay. Um, my, I go to work in my car, specifically in um, my car is Toyota. I go uh, from, from a popa to airport every day. Okay, cool. Thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. A ver, hay una corrección ahí. ¿Cuál es la corrección? ¿Quién me ayuda? Ok, bueno, pues no se vayan a caer, chicos. Relax. <ríe> Pues les contaba de que con el transporte usamos la preposición by, Douglas. Y chicos, la preposición by. En este caso no sería in my car, sino by my car. Ok, Douglas. Ok. Thank by you. taxi, by motorcycle, by train, by subway, by bicycle, etc. All right. Good job, anyways. Okay. Very informative. Continue, Douglas. Make a question to one of your classmates. Okay. Uh, good evening, um, Alex Enoch. Uh, how do you I get to hear. work? I, try, I take the bus to work. Excellent. Excellent, Alex. 
So Alex, you take the bus to work, correct? Yes, yes I do. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for the information. Do let's say thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. Very Thanks, nice. Baby. You're welcome. Say Enoch, you're welcome. You're welcome. Palabras mágicas, okay, guys? Thank you. Repeat, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Repeat, you. you're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Edwin. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh uh. You don't say thank you, thank you. You say thank you, and the other person says, You're welcome. Okay? Uh, okay, okay. Thank you, Edwin. You're welcome. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now you, now you. Let's switch. Now you. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. <laughs> very intelligent. Very intelligent. Okay. Pass the question. Pass the question, Alex. Yes. Uh, Excuse me. I hear. Uh -huh. Patricia Bonilla. Partner Patricia Bonilla. Partner name Patricia. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right. How did you get to work, Patricia? Excellent. I got to work. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I got to work. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I got to Creo que por la tormenta no se alcanza a escuchar, mis. Sí, no se alcanza a escuchar. ¿Me lo puede poner en el chat? Ok. Yeah. Ok. In the meantime, Alex, make the question to other classmates. Go. Ok. I walk to work. Okay. Pronunciation. I walk. I walk to work. Repeat, guys. I walk to work. I walk to work. I walk to work. Repeat. I I walk to work. I walk to work. I walk to work. 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 Okay, so that means that Patricia lives near her job. That's good. Okay, how about you? Oh, let me see. How about you, Monica? How do you get to work? I drive to work. Nice. You so you drive to work every day? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Can you pass the question to another classmate for you, please? Mm. Karen Ramos. Excuse me, Karen. Say, Monica. Excuse me, Karen. Excuse I have a question for you. Karen Ramos, I have a question for you. Excellent. Hello, Karen, are you there? Hmm, I think Karen is not in. Can you choose a different classmate? Hello? Can you select a different classmate? Monica? Puedes elegir alguien más? 
Excuse me, Laura Guadalupe Fuentes. I have a question for you. I take I take the bus to work. <laughs> okay, Miss, pero no dejo que Monica le le terminara la question, Miss. Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay, vamos ahí. Toma dos. Take two. Let's go. Let's go, Monica. Hello, Monica. Repeat the question. Excuse. Ah, perdón. How do you get to work, Laura? I take the bus to work. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Laura. Continue. Continue. Interview a different classmate. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me, uh, Maria Elena Linal. Perfect. Uh huh. Yes. Say, Maria. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Tell me. Who do you get to work? How? Repeat. How? Do you get to Repeat. work? How? Is it how? Quiero escuchar. How? 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 Do you get to work? Do you get to work? Mm -hmm. I take the bus to work. Oh, so you take the bus to work. Yes. Thank you for the information. Okay, Maria Elena, continue, please. Okay. Um... Excuse me. Excuse me, Carolina. I... I have a question for you. Perfect. Yes. How do you get to work? I drive to work. I drive to work. Repeat. I drive, I drive to, work. to work. I drive to work. Excellent. Maria, thank you for the information. Thank you for the information, Carolina. Thank you for the, thank you for the, thank you for the information. <laughs> thank you for the information, Carolina. Yes. And you're welcome. Okay, Carolina, continue, please. Okay. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, Edwin Rodriguez. How do you get to work? How? How, How? do you get to work? Hi, I I try to work. I I always take the bus to work. Excellent. All right. Thank you for the information. Okay. Thank you for the for information. You always drive to work, hi huh, Edwin. Um, you drive to work? Yeah. Teacher Collins, I want to ask you some questions. For me? Yes. Okay. What is your question? <laughs> um, how do you get to work? Me? Yes. How do you get to work? <laughs> I ride my motorcycle. Oh, thank you, information. Thank you for the information. Repeat. Thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. Yes. What about Tatiana? Okay. Can you hear me, Tatiana Escobar? Can you hear me, Douglas? How do you get to work, Douglas? Hello, teacher Caleb. How do you get to work? Okay, I I drive to work by my car. Um, okay, so you will say, I go to work by my car. <laughs> I go to work by my car. Yep. I go to work by my car. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's continue. 
let's continue with this video. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. All right, so what we're going to do is that we're going to listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Ready? Nice car, Jason. Nice, nice car. car. Jason. Repeat. Nice car, Jason. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? It's a question. It's a question, right? Affirmation sería, it's yours. It is yours. Negation, it is not yours. But question, is it yours? Repeat, is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? In Spanish, what is in Spanish? Is it yours? Es tuyo. Es tuyo. Is it yours? Okay, Jason says no. It's my sister's. No, no, my sister. What is the meaning of it's my sister's? Look, sister. Apostrophe es. Es posesiva. Es un posesivo. Significa es de mi hermana. My sisters. Apostrophe after the noun es. Continue. It's my sisters. Repeat. It's my sisters. It's my sisters. Pronunciamos esa es. No estoy diciendo que sisters, muchas hermanas, no. Estoy diciendo que es de mi hermana. ¿Se entiende ahí, chicos? Yes. yes. A ver, ¿y, ¿y hermanas en plural cómo se diría? Sisters. A ver, a ver, a ver. Una hermana sería a sister. A sister. ¿Y, y, y hermanas? My sisters. 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 Yes? Sisters. Sisters. Ahí estamos hablando de qué? De varias. Sí? Ok. Good job. Good job. Ok. Repeat. She has a new job. She has, she has a new, a job. new job. Ojo con este verbo. Job. Has. She has, has a new job. Repeat. She and she drives. She Pronunciamos esta S. And she drives to work. And she drives to work. Repeat. Work. And she drives to work. She drives to work. Excelente. Repeat. Is her job here? In the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. No, it's downtown. 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 
downtown. downtown. Do you know what is downtown? Downtown. Ciudad. ¿Qué parte? La ciudad. ¿Qué parte de la ciudad? El centro. El centro de la ciudad, correcto. Así se le dice downtown. Repeat, downtown. Downtown. How do you say downtown. in English? A ver, how do you say in English? Vamos al centro. Hey, vamos al centro. Uh -huh. <laughs> how do you say that in English? How do you go downtown? Let's go. Ese let's es para invitación. Let's go. Let's go. Repeat, let's, let's go downtown. Go. Downtown. Let's go. A ver, se los voy a poner acá en el chat. Let siempre lo van a usar para una invitación con la comita, right? Con el apostrophe. Es. ¿Así? Entonces, si yo lo uno con el verbo go, ¿qué sería? Vamos. Vamos. Let's go downtown. Let's go downtown. Si yo quiero decir, uh, vamos a comer o comamos. Let's go to eat. Ya no sería go. Comer. Comer, comer, comer. Eat. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Vamos, vamos Let's a comer. Eat. Comamos pizza. Let's Let's go to eat pizza. Ah, también. Eat. Let's go to eat pizza. Lo que quiero decirles es que no siempre tengo que usar el verbo go, ¿ya? Puedo usar let's eat, let's drink, let's drink soda. Repeat, let's drink soda. Let's drink soda. Let's drink tea. Let's drink tea. Let's cook. Let's cook. Yes, excellent. Okay, repeat. Repeat. It's downtown. It's, it's downtown. downtown. It's downtown. downtown. Repeat. My parents work downtown. My parents, My parents work downtown. downtown. Parents? Who are the parents? Do you know who are Padre. the parents? Padre. In English, in English. Father, Father and, and mother. mother. And mother, yes. That's the parents. So my parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. Repeat, they don't drive to work. But they don't drive to work. They don't drive to work. They don't drive to work. They use public transportation. They use they use they use public public transportation. Okay, Jason asks a question: the bus or the train? Repeat: the bus or the train? The bus or the train? Okay, and Ashley says the train doesn't stop near our house. Repeat, the train, the train doesn't, doesn't stop, stop near, near, near our house. house. So, 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 repeat, so, so they, take, they take the bus. They take the bus. So they take the bus. It's really slow. It's really, it's really slow. slow. And Jason says, that's too bad. That's Repeat, too bad. that's too bad. That's too bad. that's too bad. Okay, you have any question about this conversation? No? No. No. Okay, I have some questions. Um, how do you say lento? Realmente lento. Really it's slow. Really slow. Very slow. Okay, really slow. Okay, nice. How do you say transporte público? Public transportation. I'm sorry? Public transportation. Public transportation. Public transportation. Okay, how do you say in English uh, el centro de la ciudad? Town. 
downtown. Down, Very downtown. well. How do you say cerca? Cerca. Near. 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 Dice acá, near. the train doesn't stop near our house. Y aquí lo que estamos viendo es simple present statements. El presente simple. Ah, Jason, your car, is it yours? Es tuyo. It's my sister. She has a new job. Ella tiene un nuevo trabajo. Tiene. Estamos hablando en tercera persona. Has. Actualmente. Actualmente, right? She has a new job. Repeat. She has a new job. Job. She she has a new job. And she drives to work. She, she drives, drives to work. She Ella to work. Maneja, maneja su carro. Entonces, si yo estoy diciendo ella maneja su auto, es que lo hace pues a diario, right? A diario, right? Ese es una a rutina, entonces ahí utilizamos el simple present. Y ese es afirmativo, right? She drives to work. Okay. Let's see. What about this? My parents, repeat, my parents work downtown. My, my parents work downtown. Que sus padres trabajan Ajá. En el centro. Entonces, actualmente, work. Es una rutina. Ojo, acá viene ya algo negativo. Siempre del presente. Usando ya los auxiliares para negativo sería don't. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The train doesn't stop. Entonces tenemos ahí terceras personas in negatives. We have nice a lot car, of car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation. Uh, teacher Caleb is going to be Jason and the students are going to be Ashley. Are you ready? Ready? You are Ashley, guys. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's her job, her in the Surbo. ¿Y los demás qué pasó? Surbo. No, it's downtown. My parents work. The bus or the train? The train, the train doesn't, doesn't stop, stop near, near our, our house. house. So, so they, they take the bus. It's, it's really slow. slow. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, I was Jason. Now I'm going to be Ashley. Teacher Caleb is going to play Ashley's role and the students are going to play Jason's role. Are you ready? Ready. Now you're okay. Ready? ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Nice car, guys. Is it yours? No. no. It's, it's my, my sister. sister. She has, she has a new job. job. And she, she has nice to work. 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 Is her job here in the suburbs? No, no, it's downtown. It's My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The, the, bus, the, bus, the, bus, train. the train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's, That's too bad. Too bad. That's too bad. Yes. Excellent. It's nice funny. job. Any question? Any question on this conversation? No. Okay. I want you to identify the affirmative statements. Uh 
Uh-huh. Affirmatives. For example, she has a new job. Repeat. She has a new job. She has a new job. Possession. To work. For example, for example, using the verb have. Possession. Talking about possession. I have a job. I have a car. I have a motorcycle. I have a motorcycle. Can you give a motor? Can you give a motorcycle? Can you give an example? <laughs> Can you give an example, please? Uh huh. I have. Hello. I have a house. Yes. I have a car. I have a car. I have, I have a, a dog. A what? A watch. A watch. Uh, watch. Okay, I have yes. a watch. Okay, okay. I have a cell phone. You have a cell phone, a smartphone? A smartphone. Nice, yes. nice, nice. So you have a smartphone. That's good. That's good. Possession. That's easy. I have a television. I have a television. Yes. Every I have time. a computer. I have a computer. I have a laptop. I have a brother, I have a sister, yes? I have a little dog. Yes? Now in third person, what is the yeah. third person of have? She has. Has. For example, has. my sister has mm. a sister beautiful has. house. Yes. My sister has a beautiful car. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The person, guys. Uh huh. My brother has a motorcycle. My Hello. brother has. Uh huh. Okay, Edwin. No problem. Uh -huh. Using has. Tercera persona. My sister has a bicycle. No more. Okay, the verb drive. Repeat drive. Drive. Ok, guys, voy a desactivar la cámara y porque está lloviendo muy recio acá. Entonces creo que eso me está interfiriendo la señal. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Bueno, pero ya pas, casi vamos terminando, así que ya será para lo último. Entonces estábamos así, haciendo como que ejemplos con estos verbos que son básicos, ¿verdad? El verbo have y la tercera persona, has. Vamos a hacer algo. Un compañero dice un ejemplo, using have, y lo pasamos a tercera persona, ¿sí? Vamos a ver, Laura, can you say one example using have? I have a new job. I have a car. Thank you. A ver, chicos, en tercera persona, Laura. She has a car. Laura has a car. Bueno, si yo digo Laura, ya no necesito decir she. Ok, entonces sería Laura has, has a, car. a car. Repeat, Laura has a car. Laura has a Laura car. Has a, a car. Vamos a ver, Karen, danos un ejemplo así personal usa, usando have. Hello. A ver, Edwin, ¿puedes tú un ejemplo usando have? Ok, Mónica. I have a bedroom. Nice, I have a bedroom. I have a bedroom. A ver, guys, en tercera persona. 
She has a bedroom. She has a bedroom. She has a bedroom. Or Monica has a bedroom. Okay. Very good. Thank you. A ver, un caballero, Alex, can you say one example using have? I have a tennis. Como zapatos deportivos. Yes, I do. Okay, sí. Vamos a decir sneakers. Sneakers. I yes. have a sneakers. I have sneakers. I have sneakers. Okay. Third person, guys. In third person. He has a sneakers. Correct. Or Alex has. Alex has sneakers. Sneakers. Y pronunciamos ese has, tercera persona, y el AS en sneakers, porque es en plural. Sneakers. Very sneakers. nice. Very nice. Esto es en affirmative. Vamos a los negatives. A ver, ¿alguna oración negativa acá? Por acá, ¿verdad? Dice, they don't drive to work. A ver, el do y el don't. ¿Con quiénes usamos el do y el don't? ¿Con qué subject first, usamos con first I? First person. Con you. First person. We. Ajá. Uh -huh. And they. Memorize that, please. Necesito que se memoricen eso. Y el das... O el doesn't. Lo usamos con las terceras for, personas. It's for third person. For third person. He, he she. she uh, Excellent. Thank you, Douglas. Entonces, si, si estamos ahí sabedores de eso, es genial. A ver, necesitan tiempito para aprenderse eso. Necesito se lo memorice. Do and don't. I, you, we and they. Does or doesn't for he, she, it. Okay. So let's go to the negative examples. According to this conversation, we have they don't drive to work. Yes. She doesn't love me. Okay. They don't yeah. drive to work. I don't take the bus. Yeah? I don't take the bus. Can you say something negative? I don't have a laptop. I don't have a laptop. Vamos a ver esa. I don't have a laptop. Repeat, guys. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a laptop. Eso es personal. Yo I no tengo. Si lo laptop. pasamos a tercera persona. He, he doesn't. Correct. He, he doesn't. Has. Has or have? Has. Has. Has, has a laptop. Guys, ahí sería have porque estoy usando el auxiliar doesn't. Recuerden, en los negativos que usamos auxiliares y en las preguntas, el verbo tiene que ir en su forma base. All right? Go ahead. Okay, okay, let's continue. Let's see here. Okay, bueno, vamos a quedarnos hasta aquí con esta información. Vamos a... Um, Abrir nuestro Insofor book. ¿Todos tienen ya sus manuales de Insofor? Yes. No. No. ¿Por qué? En digital nada más. Sí, en digital, como son las clases en línea, pues deberemos estar así. Por el momento. For the moment. Okay, here it is. Vean, 
Esto es lo que vamos a estar viendo. During this module, we're going to study financial terms. Oh my God, financial terms. Ya términos ya financieros, guys. So aquí vamos a entrar con vocabulario técnico que ustedes tienen que tomar nota e irse aprendiendo financial terms. Simple, yes, no, and information questions. Vamos a seguirle dando a esas preguntas de yes or no. Y también de information questions como las usando what, where, when, why, which one, who, etc. Luego dice um, regular activities and duties at your workplace. Adverb of frequency, frequency adverbs, whatever. Y esto es básicamente lo que veremos. Bueno, yo espero que ustedes ya tengan acceso pronto a sus libros. De todas maneras, su servidor siempre los va a proyectar. Ok, let me see. I think I have the objective right here. This is the general objective. Look, it says participants will exchange basic information related to routines. Vamos a seguir con lo de las rutinas. En el básico uno hicieron su daily routine, ¿verdad? Daily routine. Yes, yes I do. Remember? Okay. Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. So, duties and emergencies in online and telephone conversations with others in familiar work situations. So that's pretty much the objective. We're gonna go over, let me see. Let's see, se ha trabado esto, one second, one second. Vaya, este es el mío, entonces voy a compartir el suyo. Ustedes aún no lo han descargado, ¿verdad, chicos? ¿O sí? No. Eh, no. Yes. No. no. Ah. Okay. I ready to download. I ready to download. You ready downloaded. Ah, nice. Podés compartírselos ahí a los demás en el grupo de WhatsApp para los que quizás no no tienen todavía acceso. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is your manual, the student's manual for basic module two. We're gonna to get it started with this one. And we're gonna go to page number nine, if I'm not mistaken. Seven, eight, nine. This is it. So here we have some information. Can you see my screen? Yes? Yes, yes, teacher. yes, yes teacher. Okay, so here we have some information. It says at the beginning of a call, en una llamada de teléfono, phone call, a phone call. Repeat, a phone call. A, a phone, phone call. call. At a the beginning. Call. At the beginning of a phone call. Al principio, ¿qué decimos? Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Introduction. Hello. This is? This is? Y decimos nuestro nombre, right? This is Carolina. This is Roberto, etc. Yes? Hello. This is, o incluso podemos dar el nombre de la empresa, ¿verdad? Hello, this is English Corporativo. My name is Laura. Yeah? My name is Roberto. Yes? ¿Estamos bien? Y luego vamos yes. con... Una pregunta para confirmar. Usted, usted busca hablar con alguien en específico. Usted va a decir, am I calling uh, in Safor? Am I calling inglés corporativo? 
o un nombre en específico. Am I calling Mr. Edwin Rodríguez? Estoy yo llamando, ¿sí? Am I calling? Y ofrecemos ayuda. How can I help you? Repeat, how can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Repeat, how can I help you? Esta okay. es una pregunta super usada, ¿verdad? Para ofrecer tu servicio, super usada. How can I help you? How can I help you? Ok. Eso how, es. How can, how can I? How can I? How can I help you? Help you. Esto se usa más que todo, guys, eh, en servicio al cliente, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? How can I help you? Y al final de la llamada, at the end of a phone call, ¿cómo nos despedimos? En vez de decir hello, ¿cómo sería? Bye. Solo así. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hmm. See you later. See you later. No, porque como es por teléfono, no podemos. We can't see each other. No nos podemos <laughs> ver. Okay, right. ¿Qué más? I calling later. Puede ser por ahí. Entonces, en vez de decir hello en, en el inicio, vamos Goodbye. a decir. Yes. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. De, usualmente por teléfono, guys, somos más, más amables, ¿verdad? Más polite. Entonces, vamos a agradecer. Thank you for calling. Repeat. Thank you for calling. Y vamos a dar el nombre de la empresa. Thank you for calling Inglés Corporativo. Have a nice day. Repeat. Have a nice day. Hello. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Que tengas un, un lindo día. día. Sí, así es. Un buen día. Have a nice day. Ese no es un simple bye, guys. Porque por teléfono es diferente. Right? Tenemos que ser más amables. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Uh -huh. Podemos brand the company. ¿Saben qué es brand the company? ¿Marca? Ajá, es como decir uh, el nombre de la empresa. Como decir, thank you for calling eh, inglés corporativo. Yes, have a nice day. Yes? Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, very well. So let's go over here to the, over the conversation. Let me see. Here. Repeat. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Am I calling Travers Inc? Good morning. I am calling Travers Inc. Come on, repeat Edwin, Alex, Patricia, Karen, Esmeralda, Tatiana, Carolina, Douglas. Let's repeat. Practice your English. Am I calling Travels Inc? I'm not calling Travels Inc. I'm not calling Travels Inc. Uh, yes, this is Linda. How can I help you? Yes, this is Linda. How can, How I, can help I help you? I need to speak with Mr. Travers. I need to speak. I need to speak with Mr. Travers. Travers. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just, Just a, a minute. minute. Thank you for your help. Thank, Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Thank you for calling Travers Inc. Thank, Thank you for calling you. Travers Inc. Have a nice day. Have a nice, Have a nice day. day. Okay, ¿qué pasó ahí en la historia? What happened? Que one person was calling to speak with Mr. Travers. Huh? Yes. 
And he got transferred. Me imagino que lo han de haber transferido, right? Porque le dijo, I need to speak with Mr. Travers. Just a minute, le dice. Un minuto, un minuto, por favor. Thank you for your help. Thank you for calling Travers. And have a nice day. Boom. Lo transfirió ahí, ¿verdad? Any question on this conversation? Travers Inc. es el nombre de una empresa, right? Que la han usado ahí como ejemplo. Okay, no? Okay, let's practice. Yes. Teacher Kalev is going to play role A and the students will play role B. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. I am calling Travers Inc. A ver, los demás se me durmieron. Es pregunta. Am yes. I, this is Linda. Am I calling? This is Linda. Am I calling yes. Travers Inc? This is Linda. I'm a, how can I help you? I, help you? I need to speak with I Mr. Need... Travers. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Thank you for your help. Thank, thank you for, you for, for, thank you for calling Travers Inc. Thank you for calling Travers Inc. Have a nice day. Oh, nice. Have a nice day. All right. All Have right. a nice day. Cambiamos. Ustedes inician. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good Am morning. I calling Travers Inc.? Yes. yes, this is Linda. Can I help you? I need to speak with Mr. Travers. Just, Just a, minute. a minute. Thank you for your help. Thank, Thank you for calling Travers. Travers. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Nice job. Nice job. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Edwin dice, sorry, it's raining here, but that it can, I can hear. No puede escuchar muy bien, dice. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? How do you say, ¿cómo le puedo ayudar? How, 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 why can I help you? Correct. How can I help you? Repeat, guys. How can I help you? How can I help you? Okay. How can I help you? Let's continue. Vaya, ahí tenemos unas um, oraciones. Dice, unscrabble the words to complete sentences. Tienen que ponerlas en orden para completar las oraciones. Okay. Entonces, ahí se las dan desordenadas. Morning, I, hotels, calling, diamond, am, good. Ojo, que esta tiene un question mark. Cuando tienen un question mark, significa que son preguntas. ¿Cómo quedaría esta, por ejemplo? I am calling. I am calling. I'm calling. Good morning. Hotel. I, I am, am calling. calling. Pero como es pregunta. I am calling. Hotel. Am I? Good morning. Como es pregunta. I am, am I? Calling. Am I calling? Am I? Am I, am I calling? calling hotels? hotels. Repeat. Hotels. 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 Hotel. Am I, am I calling? Ah, pero ahí también está morning, también está good, también está. Good morning. Ajá, y entonces. Good morning, como el saludo. I am, I am good morning. Good morning. I am good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I, good morning. I, 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 am, I am, I am good morning. I am Primero saludamos, digo yo, ¿verdad? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Am I calling? 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 Diamond Hotels. Muy bien. Diamond Hotels. Yeah. Muy bien. Ahí le ponen ahí el signo de pregunta porque este signo se me ha arruinado acá en la, en el teclado. 
Good morning. Am I calling? Am I? Uy, se me fue ahí el otro I. I'm sorry. Let me correct this. Am I calling? Good morning. Am I calling Diamonds Hotels? Así era, ¿verdad? Yes. Diamonds Hotels. Good morning. Am I calling Diamond Hotels? A ver, ¿cómo le queda ese saludo, Mario? Usted está llevando it por is, teléfono. It is Mr. Ronald. Mr. Ronald. It is Mr. Ronald. Ok. Am I calling Diamond Hotels? Am I calling Inglés Corporativo? Can you give an example, Esmeralda? What? Can you give one example? Am I calling... Am I calling Tigo? Yes, am I calling Tigo? Am I calling... Ese es el tiempo presente. Estoy yo hablando en este momento, right? Am I calling Insafor? Oh, am I calling Pico? Cuando ustedes están llamando para confirmar ya sea persona o lugar, am I calling? Yeah? What? Am I Next. calling Pixel? Entonces, completen ahí ustedes. One, two, three, four, five. Las cinco restantes, ok, van a tener, ¿qué? 12 minutos y luego comparamos. Go to work, go to work. Ahí en sus cuadernitos, ahí en sus apuntes. Let's go.
Come on, come on, come on. Complete the exercises. You have any question? Let me know. You have any question? Let me know. Una vez que las completemos, chicos, vamos a ponerlas en orden de conversación. Aquí ya está la primera, right? Que ya está el call number one. Acá en el cuadrito. Good morning. Am I calling Diamond Hotels? Right? Primero, armar las oraciones. Luego, armar la conversación. Pero en armar la conversación, yo les voy a ayudar. So, ustedes solo armen acá las sentences que están acá. Ok, ready. You ready? Vaya, yes. Mario ya terminó. Mario is ready. ¿Y los demás? Mónica, Alex. I am ready. Yes. Pardon? Patricia, Karen, Tatiana, Esmeralda, Carolina, I'm Douglas. Ready. Did you finish? Finish. All right. Vamos a ver acá. Is Mr. Roland this? ¿Cómo sería? What's the correct this is, answer? This is, this Mr. is Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. This is Mr. Roland. This is Mr. Roland. Ronald. Introduction. This is Mr. Roland. Muy bien. This is Mr. Roland. This is Mr. Roland. Es una afirmación porque no tiene acá question mark, ok. Ok. Muy bien, vamos con help, yes, you, can, I, yes. today, how, Roland, mm -hmm. mister. Yes, how can I help you today, Mr. Roland? Excellent. Yes, come on. How can I help you today, Mr. Roland? Así la tienen todos. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Pensé que les iba a costar esa porque se ve bien larga, right? Pero lo han hecho súper bien. Ok, next. I talk Mrs. Clinton need to with. I need to talk to Mr. Clinton. I need to talk. To talk. I need to talk, to talk with talk. Mr. Clinton. Repeat. With I Mr. need Clinton. to talk with I need to talk, need to talk with, with Mr. Clinton. Mrs. Mrs. Es una señora Mrs. casada. Oh, Mrs. Okay. Clinton. Okay. I need to talk with Mrs. Clinton. Very good pronunciation. Okay. And the last one. I'm sorry. He is not here. I am sorry. I am sorry. He is not here. Very good, Patricia. He is not here. Okay, and the last one. Thank you. Okay, well. Thank you. Okay, well. Well. Well, thank you, thank okay. You, casi, casi, casi. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién well, más? Thank you. Well, thank you, okay. Okay, well, thank you. Ese es el indicado. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Muy bien. Entonces acá, number one es esta, ¿verdad? Yes. Good morning. Am I calling Diamond Hotels? ¿Cuál sería number two? It is Mr. Ronald. Correct. This is Mr. Ronald. Ese sería number two. This is Mr. Ronald. Roland. Roland. Okay, number three. Yes. How are, I can you help, Mr. Ronald? Yes. 
How can I help you today, Mr. Roland? Repeat. Yes. How yes. can I help you today, Mr. Roland? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's number three. Number four? I need to talk. Talk. To what? I need to talk. I need to talk. I need to talk to White Mr. Mr. Clinton. To Mrs. Clinton. Mrs. Clinton. Es una señora. I need to talk. I need to talk. Necesito platicar. I need to talk with Mrs. Clinton. Repeat. I need to talk to Mr. To white to Mr. Mrs. Clinton. Mr. Clinton. Ojo ahí porque Mr. es para caballero. Mr. es para él. Ok. Ok. Miss es para señorita. En mm. Mrs. es para señora casada. Mrs. Mrs. Mm -hmm. En este caso, Mrs. Clinton es ella, right? Mrs. Clinton is a married woman. Okay. Number five. What's number five? I am I'm sorry. sorry. I am sorry. He's not here. Correct. I'm sorry. He is not here. He isn't here. He's También podría decir, ¿verdad? He isn't here. He isn't here. Okay, the last one. Okay, well, thank okay, you. Okay, well, you. thank you. Okay, well, thank you. Right? Thank you. <laughs> nice job, nice job, people. Okay. It says, recognize simple expressions that relate to lack of understanding. Cuando nosotros no entendimos o cuando nosotros no escuchamos, para pedir repetición, vamos a usar, beg your pardon. Repeat, beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Excuse me, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, este libro es diferente al que está en la plataforma. ¿Qué? Ah, este, es, este es otro. El que me pidió que mandara era, era el que está en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Quiero ver, ya lo mandaste. Sí. Ah, pero es que yo no lo he podido ver. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Creo que ya ingresé. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. ¿Este dónde estaba? En la plataforma. Eh, ahí en la... En inglés corporativo online. Ah, ok, ok. La plataforma de inglés corporativo. Sí. Let me check. Creo que esta es la versión actualizada. Ajá. Guys, entonces háganme un favor, descarguen este todos, el que acaba de compartir el compañero. Y este vamos a estar usando desde el día de mañana, ¿les parece? Ok. okay. Sí, porque hay que okay. guiarnos por el que está ahí en la plataforma. aparece en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Correct. Pero ya lo puso aquí Mario, ¿verdad, Mario? Yes, yes. Ok, Mario lo acabo de poner aquí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. So, Creo que todavía no me he agregado. Todavía no. Ah, pues tiene que darle clic ahí en el, en el link que le enviaron, Miss. Solo está de, sí. de unirse. ¿Alguien más no está en el grupo de, de WhatsApp? Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> the interruption, no, no. Nah. Interruption. Hi. No está usted. Este, I don't know. bueno, voy a pasar lista la última vez antes de que se me agote el tiempo. Ok.
Let me go with the attendance once again. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Present teacher. Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernández Romero. Present teacher. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díez. I am here. Eh, Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Uy, Edgar, está absent, ok. Aquí está. Ed, eh, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Ok. Irving Joel Morán González. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Julio César Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Uy, guys, tenemos muchos ausentes este día. Eso sí es preocupante. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Mendoza. Present. Bueno, que estamos ahí por arreglar su, su nombre, mis. Yes. María Elena Linares Díaz. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Teacher, eh, Karen, Elizabeth sí está presente, pero tiene dañada la garganta y no puede hablar. Karen Elizabeth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bueno, Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López, sí, ¿verdad? Present. Sí, present. Thank you. En Ramón Antonio Ramírez González. Ok, en Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Ok, he's es awesome. Oops. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Dice Mónica, dígame Mónica. Perdón, creo no, que no me mencionó a mí. No la mencioné, perdóname, quiero no. ver. Usted es la 16 acá. Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda, ¿verdad? Ok. Dije no sé si me Quizás no la escuché porque ahorita está lloviendo súper fuerte por acá. Bueno, chicos, Fischer, en la medida. A mí, a mí eh, está igual, me estaba viendo algo aquí en la casa con eso de la lluvia. Mario, ya te tengo acá, Mario Hernández, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Sí, guys, no se preocupen. Este, right. Siempre pasamos a asistencia dos veces por cualquier cosa. Eh, los quiero seguir pues retando a que interactuemos más. Tenemos que estar pues eh, listos para interactuar. Quitémonos pues ese miedo, quitémonos esa pena, porque este es el módulo donde tenemos que comenzar ya a desarrollar nuestro, nuestro habla, nuestro speaking. Así que bueno, el día de mañana espero verlos con todas las, las energías posibles. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, Tatiana, adelante. Eh, sí, bueno, yo quisiera saber por el, no sé si lo que nos estaban enseñando, porque yo sé que cada profesor tiene su, su forma de aprender, bueno, de enseñar. Sí. Pero no sé si, porque el teacher anterior nos mandaba como las diapositivas de lo que, lo que estábamos viendo y todo eso. No sé si eso está directamente acá en la plataforma. Toda, toda la, bueno, el PDF que estábamos viendo, no sé si me voy a explicar. Ah, el PDF. No sé si eso está aquí o... Ajá, lo que estábamos viendo ahorita en la clase. O oh, no oh, usted si le mandaban eso... como imágenes al, al grupo de WhatsApp. No, no imágenes, sino que como la diapositiva. Como bueno, como el PDF que usted tenía. Y pues eso lo pasaba. Para usted tenerlo digamos, para su estudio. Sí. 
Oh, entiendo. Bueno, voy a preguntar si me los pueden conseguir en PDF para podérselos facilitar. Eh, si así lo hacían antes. Sí, así es. Cada teacher tiene su forma de trabajar y, y pues todos tenemos que irnos ahí adaptando, ¿ok? Pero en la medida de lo posible vamos a cumplir sus expectativas, ladies and gentlemen. No les quito más tiempo. Good job. Congratulations. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Karen, ya la tengo aquí, Karen. No worries. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, bye, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night, teacher. bye. bye everyone. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.